I'm Maurice Carlos Ruffin. I am from Louisiana, New Orleans, the United States of America, and I'm very happy to be here. This is my first time on the continent, my first time in Senegal, my first time in Dakar. Um, I've done residencies before, but never abroad. So this has been a life-changing experience for me. So the idea was I had a project I was working on, um, the next novel that I want to complete. And I know I couldn't write the whole novel in a month, but I did want to accelerate myself. I wanted to go from A to P or A to T or something like that. And so being here has allowed me to make some great strides. Um, every single day I have uh, leapt forward like a frog and it's been very helpful. So I've been uh, writing a novel that is a part of a series of novels. It's my look at the African diaspora, the uh, work of various leaders um, across various continents, so America, Europe, and Africa. The book that I'm writing right now uh, features a family um, based in New Orleans in the 1940s and 50s, so the uh, World War II civil rights era. But I'm also drawing connections to what was happening um, on the continent here in Africa at the same time, as well as Europe at the same time. Um, I've also worked on some short projects, such as uh, writing essays and writing some poetry as well, because those things always interact very well for me. So I've been sort of working on many things at one time. Yeah, poetry is important to me because the, the lyrical form is a chance to uh, take what I've absorbed here in the community, talking to people, hearing the music, and transform it to the written word. So I've written a few poems, and I always like to use the, uh, the atmosphere to create the poetry. And I'm sure for the poetry and my other work that my experiences here are going to influence my work for a long time to come. You know, writers, we tend to absorb things in the moment and then hold on to it for many years after the fact. And so I know that's going to happen in this case also. Every place that I've gone here in the country, whether it was uh, up to Saint Louis or even farther up north or just being around in the local area here in Dakar, People are wonderful storytellers. That's also very important to people where I come from in New Orleans. And so I have made it a point to try and pay a lot of attention, take many notes, so that I can incorporate some of these ideas that are clearly links between my people over in New Orleans and people here who uh, have very similar histories and backstories. Yeah, I think in America we are so influenced uh, by jazz, which itself is influenced by so many different types of music that were brought over from the continent. So many of my personal heroes in literature, Toni Morrison, for example, or James Baldwin, are people, when you read their work, there's a musicality to it. And being here, I've gotten to see firsthand how the music is very similar to where I'm from in New Orleans. For me to see people here, say, playing drums and dancing, um, is very similar to seeing my people in New Orleans, you know, in Congo Square, for example, uh, dancing and having a moment as a community to encourage each other. And so it's clarified many things for me that I suspected about our links, but now I've seen it with my own eyes and I can't forget it. It's a part of who I am now. Yeah, Saint Louis is, um, it felt like my home. Uh, the buildings are very similar to New Orleans buildings because it's that, that sort of French architecture. But then also in a spiritual sense, it felt similar to home. But New Orleans and Saint Louis have this sort of pace, this sort of rhythm that feels very, very uh, sensual. And I just really enjoy being able to walk around and get that vibe and uh, feel like I was even more home than here in Dakar in some sense. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but a trip to Black Rock is worth a million words. Um, it's one of the best things I've done ever. I just, I, I've seen so much. Every single day I've had multiple experiences that I couldn't have predicted. Things that's even hard for me to describe. I know as a writer it will take me a long time to explain what I've seen and what I've felt. And yet I know it's been a good thing for me. Um, I think it's important for creative people to have the, the time and space to uh, create our work, but also this has been a good experience for me to just see so many new things and meet so many new people. And I plan on coming back one day because I have just enjoyed it so much. I would say to creative people out there, um, you should always bet on yourself. There are so many wonderful organizations like BlackRock that want to assist you in creating your work. And so you should take the time to connect with these organizations because when we come together as artists and uh, these organizations, we can create wonderful work. So just be sure to believe in yourself. 